have noticed that it seems like the day just flies by. I get a few things done, but not nearly what I thought I would. Like I have this list of things and I feel like I'm organized. I feel like I have got it all together, but I get trapped in all sorts of different things that take time away. They're just time drains on my life and on my day. So here's how I have found a way, <laughs> and none of it's groundbreaking, but it works for me. Here is what works for me to just sort of find extra time in the day. And it's amazing. Um, at first it's, it's like, I don't want to give that up, whatever, but it works. So give this a try. So here is what I think works the best. First, you really need to sit down and prioritize, let's say two to three, whatever, how many, but I say three is probably a good number. What are the three most important things to you in your life? Let's say you choose family, health, and productivity. So you get things done. Obviously this is what we're trying to do. So let's just say that's what you need to do. Those are the things that are most important to you in your life, your family, your health, and productivity. Whatever your three, three things are, put them down and write them down on a post-it note, on a piece of paper, make something cute, um, but put it where you see it, like maybe by your workspace, whether it's uh, a post-it note on your laptop, is the minute you open it up in the morning or where it, whenever you see that note, and those are your three big priorities. Um, put it also maybe where you see it first thing in the morning, maybe a post-it note on your mirror, just to remind yourself, these are the things that mean the most to me. Okay, that really helps to kind of keep that in your mind constantly. I know that sounds strange, but it really does help keep your focus on those things because so many things in life now take our focus completely off all the things that are really the most important to us. So write down your three, set them in places that you know you will see constantly, especially anywhere near your computer or electronic devices. Now, sit down and take a moment to really think about what are the things that are distracting you the most in your day. What are the things that just seem to, you start doing and then you, you look up and an hour has gone by. Um, it could be all the TV shows, Netflix, Hulu, whatever, that you watch and you're addicted to and you just gotta see them and oh my gosh, I can't wait for the next episode and we've all been down that rabbit hole and we know how one episode turns to the next, turns to the next, and you go on and on and then the weekend's gone. Um, things like that happen all the time to all of us, pretty much. So think about if that's one of them, possibly it's your email. That is my guilty time suck. Um, I have a habit of in the morning, I get up, I get my coffee, I do my morning stuff, say hi to the puppy and all that good things and you know, check everybody, make sure they're off to where they need to be during the day. And then I bring my coffee to my desk and I open my emails and just make sure I've checked in with everything. And I have three different emails, that's one problem. <laughs> but just going through all of it and answering questions and answering people, um, like friends and family who might have written to me, that's one thing and those are extremely important and I will definitely do those every chance I get. Things sometimes have to wait, but it's all those emails I get from Loft, Ann Taylor, Nordstrom, you know, any of those places that I've shopped at, the minute you shop, you have to put your email address in there and then they start sending you things. So if you don't want to get that daily thing that's on sale and then that gets you looking at that item, which gets you looking at 15 other things, that's where my time just goes because I just immediately start looking and you just keep looking and you click on the next thing and on and on and on. And then after 15 minutes, you go to the next email and it's the same thing. I'm telling you, this happens to me all the time and I have to get control of it. And I have by doing a certain thing. We'll talk about that in a minute. Possibly it is your social media. If you are one of those people who, when you're sitting down for 10 seconds, you grab your phone and you look at Instagram and then you're liking photos and liking photos and switching to the next and liking, you know, it's like you get stuck doing that and it just, time goes by so quickly. It's amazing how fast it just goes. If that's your thing or Facebook, I know is a really big one. And I know several people who gave up Facebook for Lent. <laughs> I thought that's hilarious. Um, and it makes perfect sense. I am one of those weird, weird people, and my daughter is too. Well, I have one daughter who's never been on Facebook in her life, and neither have I. I've never had a Facebook, don't want one, never wanted one. I just, I knew that that would just be something that I would just get sucked into. And many people say that it is true, and it's gotten to the point where they've had to friend so many people that they hardly even know the people that they're friends with, and you know, and it's just, if they cared about those people, they talked to them anyway. And the people that they don't really talk too much, they don't really care as much. I mean, I know that sounds horrible, but that's what most people have told me. So if Facebook is your guilty thing that just gets you sucked out of life, um, write that one down. So find your things that distract you the most from doing the things you really wanna do to help with those three items you listed as your most important things in your life. 
And then once you have those two lists in front of you, your list of the things that are most important to you in your life and the list of things that distract you most from those things. And then sit down with yourself and be honest and really decide what can you limit? What kind of, uh, of the distractions, what things can you do to limit the time it takes away from you? For example, with me and email, um, the minute I order something from a store and then the next day I get you know email after email after email from that store, I go straight down to the bottom of that email and I click unsubscribe. And that way I'm not getting those daily things about the next cute top that's on sale and the next whatever that's this and check out this sale and blah, blah, blah. Um, because I do get stuck looking. I love to see what's in style. I love to see what the next trend is. I love to, not that I'm a very trendy person at all, but I love to know what it is. Um, you know, I just, I tend to, I tend to buy all the same stuff anyway from my general regular store. So I, if I'm looking for a specific item, I know which store to go toward. You know, I know which one to type into the little search bar. I don't need the daily email. And that has changed so much of my email time in the morning it has made it so much easier and so much nicer to get through my emails and I can then move on to the next thing so email purge was perfectly wonderful for me another thing with email too is remember I try to check my email once in the morning and then again sometimes before I go to bed at night not always because if I used to be the kind that would just like check it sporadically throughout the day and that's, forget it. I mean, again, I'm just stuck in it forever that way. So now it's, I check it in the morning, I check it in the evening and I'm good to go. Um, the rest of the day is open for all those other things that are important to me and I can get so much more done. So that's another good one too when it comes to email. If you're the type of person that has signed up, signed up for every social activity that you can think of because you love hanging out with your friends, you love going to bowling league, you love being on the softball team, you adore doing that thing at the church or whatever, you know, whatever it is, and you have too many of those things, choose which ones are the most important to you or the most important to helping your community. And then those things that you signed up for four years ago, um, you know, doing bunko in your neighborhood, whatever, you know, those things are that it was really fun at the time when you first started. And you really do like talking to those ladies and you hate to, you know, whatever. Is it taking time out of your life that you really could be spent doing something, could be spent doing something better? You know what I mean? If you really feel like you would use that time doing something more productive toward your three things that are most important, get rid of one, two, three, four, whatever, however many of them you can that works for you. Another thing, phones. Smartphones have taken over our lives. We all know this, some of us more than others. I'm pretty good about mine. Mine is, I don't even know where it is at the moment to be perfectly honest with you. And most people in my family know that um, I, you know, if I'm not answering, it's because I'm doing something else. I'll get back to you, you know, but I, I wanna have a life too. So it's not really attached to me as much as I know a lot of people's are. If you're worried about emergencies, you can maybe set in your phone that certain numbers in my phone, it's an iPhone. You can do set favorites. And if you have your phone on silent, the favorites can still ring through. So that is another thing. Have it nearby where you can hear it, but put it on silent and only list your favorites as the people that you know you want to be able to contact you. Also, there's a setting in all phones that you can limit your notifications. Do you really need to know that somebody that you follow on Instagram just Instagrammed? I mean, yeah, you kind of like to know, but do you really need to know? Because that gets you back on your phone, back into Instagram to check out that one post, and then you're down the rabbit hole. So maybe if you stop your notifications a little bit more, or that so-and-so's having a sale, or there's a coupon on this at Pier 1 Imports, or whatever, all those notifications, try to go through and get rid of the ones that really you don't have to know this very second, the minute that comes through. That helps a lot too. And then honestly, the TV shows, the Netflix, the Hulu, we all know that just hours and hours go by. It's great to have that show that you're really looking forward to. I love that, you know, you're looking forward to it the next week and you can't wait, whatever. Um, so many of them though will be available that you can binge watch some weekend when you're sick or it's a rainy weekend or, you know, you broke your foot and you're just, you're, you really need those things to watch. I mean, I still have not watched Gilmore Girls and I've been told time and time again that I really should. Well, I know that will be available to me for an eternity to watch somehow on some sort of a, a platform. So I'm waiting for that time that something catastrophic happens and I'm stuck on the couch for a week, you know? Um, and that's when I'm gonna binge watch it and that's all there is to it because I just, I know it's there for me, I'm good, you know? So pick that one show that you just are so interested in and the rest that are really good but kind of time sucks, maybe just sort of hold off on those and watch them. Um, some evening, weekend, just do a three in a row kind of a thing. Um, that works out best for just sort of freeing up more time in the day. 
for sure. Just remember, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. We choose to spend them, you know, wasting our time on frivolous things, or we can choose to spend them really focusing on those items and those things and those people that mean the most to us. And I feel like if we do the latter and focus on the most important things, we'll end up at the end of our lives, whenever that is, being very happy that we did spend those hours on that instead of on email or Facebook or whatever it is. So those are the things that I do to try to free up extra time in my day. And I'll bet you that one of those little things you can work on too, if you're looking to do the same. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.